All right, so I've been messing around trying to figure out just a really super simplified way to play Someone You Loved by Louis Capaldi. Um, something geared towards beginners that would just be really easy uh, to adapt and kind of keep the essence of the original track. So here's what I came up with. Um, it kind of sounds like this. So let's go ahead and just look at what's going on. So we got a capo, we got standard tuning, and then we got a capo on the first fret. So that'll put you right in tune with the song. And to kind of maintain that, that essence of the song, um, that sort of driving piano, uh, smooth driving piano, we're gonna use some finger picking. And I know that's not you know normally considered a beginner's type thing, but we're gonna give it a try, all right? So, um, all you really need though is your thumb and your index finger to, to pluck these notes. So what we're gonna do um, relative to the capo is we're gonna start with a C chord. So your ring finger will jump right here on the third fret of the A, middle finger on the second fret of the D. So you only need to hold those two fingers down. And then your thumb is gonna pluck the A chord and then your index finger is going to pluck that G. Okay, so you got thumb on the A, index on the G. Then your thumb's gonna jump down and alternate to the um, D string, so where you're holding your second fret with your middle finger. So you got, and then back to G again. So you're just gonna do that. two times through. So I guess you could consider one time through this. One and two and, okay? One and two and, then we're gonna do three and four and, all right? All right, then, so what you're gonna do, we're gonna go to a G chord, but you don't need to play a full G or anything. You just let off with your fingers, bring your ring finger up to third fret of the low E string. So now your thumb needs to, to follow that root note. So it's gonna follow that to the E string, but your index finger is still gonna pluck G. Okay, so then you're gonna pluck third fret of E, open G. And now, when you alternate your thumb down, you still go to that, that D string, okay? One, and, two, and, three, and, four, and. So here's what we got. One, and, two, and, three, and, four, and. One, and, two, and, three, and, four, and. So in any of you out there that are already struggling with this, it's okay. This is, kind of, this is a, a finger picking technique where your thumb is alternating and it's something you have to learn. Um, unfortunately, well not unfortunately, but it's, uh, you know, it's one of those things where you, you have to learn how to alternate the thumb at some point. So this is probably like the perfect lesson for that. So uh, just bear with me here. So we've got, again, we're starting on that C. One and two and three and four and then we're going to go to G, so your hand comes off, relaxes, ring finger jumps up, so you only need your ring finger for the G. Then your thumb is going to follow that root note down to the E. One, and two, and three, and four, and. Okay. Now, remember where your middle finger was when we were on that first chord, the C? It was on that second fret of the D. So right after the G here, we're gonna just set middle finger back down on that second fret of the D string, okay? So now we're gonna go back to the same plucking pattern we did for the first chord, the C chord, but this time A is open, right? One and two and three and four and. Okay, so now the thumb's going between A and D again. A, D, A. Okay, so let's just recap. We've got um, ring finger down, 
third fret of A, middle finger, second fret of D for the C chord. Index fingers just plucking that G and thumbs alternating between A and D. One and two and three and four and, and we go to G, let off, relax, ring finger comes up to third fret of low E. One and two and three and four and, okay. Then to go to the A minor, we're gonna set middle finger back down where it started on second fret of the D. Thumb comes back to A string, so we're getting the A root note. One and two and three and four and. Okay. Now this is the hardest chord in this riff, I think. This is probably not gonna make the beginners happy out there. So it's an F chord. Now, we're not gonna play a bar chord F, but the most important note and the hardest note to get is gonna be this first fret of the low E with your index finger, right? So you're gonna to have to reach up and grab that first fret of the low E. And now I'm gonna set my ring finger down here on the third fret of the A, and then pinky right underneath that on third fret of the D, okay? Now the reason I'm putting my ring finger down there on the A is because after we play this pattern, we're gonna to wanna to go back to the C again. So that sets us up perfectly just having ring finger there to go back to that two finger C chord that we were playing. So index finger first fret of low E, ring finger third fret of A, pinky right underneath that on third fret of D. Now we're gonna do the E to D thumb pattern. Again, still open G with the index finger. One and two and three and four and, okay? That's it, one and two and three and four and back to C. One and two and three and four and one and two and three, four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. So thumb is going on the C chord, A, D, a, D, when we go to the G, it's going E, D, E, D. When we go to the A minor, it's going A, D, A, D. And on the F, it's going E, D, E, D. So does that make sense? We're switching, we're alternating the bass note, okay, of each chord. So for C, it starts on the A string. G, it goes to the E string. A minor, it goes back to the A string. F, it goes back to the E string, because that's our F note. And then remember, we got the ring finger there so that we can switch back to the C really fast. So let's try, just try the verse, okay? And we'll go slow like that. One, two, three, four. I'm going under and this time I fear there's no one to save me. This all or nothing really got away of driving me. That'll get you into chorus. Chorus is exactly the same. So when you get to the bridge, we've got to do one slightly different chord. We're going to do a D minor chord, all right? So what's different about this chord, so we're going to set our middle finger down here on the second fret of the G, 
ring finger on third fret of the B. And normally you would need to set your index finger on this first fret of the high E, and that's D minor. But you don't really need that because we're just gonna we're gonna stick to that three note alternating pattern. But we need to bring our thumb down to the D string now, and then we're gonna move our index finger to pluck the B. So we're gonna be like this. Okay, so we'll go D minor to A minor, so middle finger second fret of D. But now the thumb has to jump up and the index finger jumps up to G now. And then we're gonna to go to, to a G chord again same as before, same plucking pattern as before, as we always use for the, so the A minor and the G, same pattern, same plucking patterns. All right, and then there'll be a, a real quick little uh, switch back to the A minor for a second before we go back to the D minor again, because we're gonna need to go to the D minor twice. So since we need to go back to that D minor twice, let me just play through this one so you can hear it just for the bridge here. So we've got. kind of gives you an idea at least of what's going on this is so this is just you, you know don't overthink this you're just using your thumb and your index finger right and that D minor I know threw you off so just to recap let's go back to the beginning because you can worry about the bridge another time I don't want you to freak out over the bridge right now and maybe I'll do another lesson on this to try to you know smooth that out a little bit more but just going back to the basics okay so re remember we're starting on a two note C chord, middle finger, second fret of the D, ring finger, third fret of the A, right? And then your thumb is starting on the A string and it's gonna alternate between the A and the D. So index finger is gonna pluck that G. So you've got. Then you go to the G. Thumb's gonna jump to the low E now skips over the A to get the D string. So you're going E to D, all right? A minor, we're just using just middle finger down, second fret of the D string. Again, thumbs going between A and D for that one. And then the F, which is the tough chord, index finger, first fret of the low E, ring finger, third fret of the A, pinky, third fret of the D, and then we're alternating between E and D. We're skipping the A string again. And that sets us up for C, because ring finger is where it needs to be. Middle finger just sets down on second fret of D. Ring finger stays where it was on that third fret of the A. And then Alright, so I know that's kind of a lot to digest, but that's that's the basic, you know, idea that I'm going for. And just play it slow at first, you know, like almost as slow as we were just practicing it there, or even slower. Just go slow with it at first, and then you can kind of get up to... So that'll, that'll hopefully help all the beginners out there at least have like a simple finger picking pattern that they can play this song with. Um, go ahead, hit the like and subscribe button, and I will see you on the next video.